I'm Toby Beacon, Australian Ambassador for Cyber Affairs. Um, I've been lucky enough to work in the cyber affairs field for the past 15 years uh, and I've had the real privilege of working with and being inspired by some incredible people all around the globe. And you know what? They happen to be women. And today I wanted to share with you some of these people, these amazing cyber women who, who just provide inspiration wherever they go um, in the hope that you'll see what they do understand that they've carved out the most incredible careers in cyber. So be inspired, follow in their footsteps and make your own path. My name is Marina Gwellurand. I'm former Estonian Foreign Minister and I have the pleasure of chairing the Global Commission on Stability in Cyberspace. For whom is cybersecurity? For everybody. We have stereotypes. We have stereotypes that only boys are both programmers. We have stereotypes that cyber is too complicated for women. That's not true. And that's why I'd like to encourage all women, all young girls, to be active in cyber world. You will find what's interesting for you. If you like computing, if you like programming, you can do that. If you like cyber hygiene, you can learn and lecture about that. If you want to do cyber diplomacy, welcome to the club. We're waiting for you to come and join us in cyber diplomacy. I encourage you all and I welcome you to the woman cyber world. Hi, I'm Melissa Hathaway from the United States of America, and I had the opportunity to lead the comprehensive national cybersecurity initiative for President George W. Bush, and I had the opportunity to lead the cyberspace policy review for President Barack Obama. And today I have my own consultancy where I'm helping governments and companies all around the world um, manage cyber risk and understand the global threat to their infrastructures and businesses. I'm a storyteller, I'm a translator, and I'm an ambassador. And I think of it as I have the opportunity to work at the, from the boardroom to the sit room and the front lines to the back office. And it's a unique combination that I can bring and, and that I get to have the opportunity to work with. And my advice to you as you're starting to think about your career, you need to understand what you're passionate about and why you get up every day. You need to think about the only person that's limiting you and your future is yourself. And don't allow the system to tell you that you can't do it um, and that uh, it can't be done. You need to recognize the talent around you and help lift them up and uh, understand when there's an opportunity that's given to you and take it and run with it. And then finally, I think it's really important to be passionate about what you're doing, be persistent about making a difference, to partner as much as you can, and then at the end of your career, or at the end of each job, or the end of each day, you'll know you've made a global difference too. Bonjour, my name is Frédéric Douzet. I'm a French professor of geopolitics at the University of Paris 8 and the director of the Castex Chair of Cyber Strategy at the Institute of Higher National Defense Studies. A piece of advice for women who want to go in cyber? Well, it's a man's world, so by all means, keep your sense of humor and go kick ass. I'm Sarah Taylor, and I'm Director of Cyber for the UK's Foreign and Commonwealth Office. This year, I'm also the UK's expert on the United Nations group looking at ICTs and international security, and I've led cyber dialogues with India, China, the Republic of Korea, Japan, and Singapore. And that's the best part of my job. I get to go all over the world and help build agreement on how we're going to protect and promote an open, free, peaceful and secure cyberspace. Those aren't always easy discussions and there are many areas of uncertainty ahead, but it's a new field and I get to play a part in shaping the future and show my daughters that they can expect to do the same. And what advice would I give to women thinking about a career in cyber? It's not all engineering and coding. Yes, we need great women engineers and coders but we also need lawyers and policy makers and researchers and admin assistants and PR experts. And whether you're in government or the private sector or civil society, we all have a stake in shaping an open, free, peaceful and secure cyberspace. So come join me. We need your help. I'm Sandra Ragg and I head the cyber policy team at the Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet in Canberra, Australia. Uh, was a key architect of the Australia's cyber security strategy and in my day-to-day -day role I have the absolute privilege of advising the Prime Minister and Ministers on cyber security matters. I think I would just encourage people to just go for it. There are so many different roles and jobs that you can have, be it uh, deep technical roles 
or a policy like myself, uh, legal, diplomatic fields. My name is Catherine Gitau. I'm the ICT Secretary, which means I give uh, high-level policy and strategic advice to the government of Kenya. I think many women uh, combine artistic flair with uh, scientific and mathematical ability and uh, ICT enables you to use all your strengths and talents and it's a wonderful area where women are succeeding and can continue to uh, succeed because we are so flexible and good at what we do, so go for it. My name is Virginia Aguilar and I work at the Coordination Center of NATO's Computer Incident Response Capability. My main job there is doing position analysis and threat assessments. And I love it because since cyber incidents are always evolving, I never analyze the same thing twice. You're a woman, you are thinking coming to cyber? Well, my advice to you would be focus. Choose this area that you really feel passionate about and start building your knowledge around it. I promise you will never get bored. We are waiting for you. Hello, I'm Professor Jill Slay. I'm Professor of Cybersecurity at UNSW in Canberra and I'm Director of UNSW's Australian Centre for Cybersecurity. My passion actually is to deal with uh, Australia's national security. This is what drives me as a researcher. The favourite part of what I do nowadays is to develop new curriculum and to work with younger researchers uh, to mentor them into understanding the depths of multidisciplinary cybersecurity. I think my advice to women is to understand and maybe to get a mentor or a, some, somebody to guide you into understanding what cybersecurity is or what it could be. Because I believe that it's equally economics and marketing as much as it is um, telecoms or computer science. In fact, what we need to do is to merge those things together. My name is Lisi Adamson and I'm originally from Estonia, um, but I'm currently working in The Hague. I'm a PhD candidate in the Cyber Norms program. The best part is the interdisciplinary nature of it, meaning I'm a lawyer by background, but I'm sort of doing international relations now as well. And if I can combine the academic side and the practical side and sort of pick and choose from, from technology, from uh, law, from policy, then that's what I love the most. For any woman considering doing cybersecurity, I would just say, go for it. You have personal courage, meaning stand up for your ideas. Um, don't be afraid to go against the mainstream opinion if you really believe in something. Hi, uh, my name is Mihoko Matsubara. I'm a chief security officer in Japan for Parado Networks in Tokyo. I think cybersecurity is really uh, dynamic and exciting. Every single aspect of um, our daily lives, national security and business operations are so dependent on information technologies and cybersecurity can make it happen. I really want to emphasize that there is no single way to get into this important field um, because any, any insights or um, background or culture are so needed to make cybersecurity stronger. I really look forward to, to working with you and thank you very much for your interest in cybersecurity. It's very exciting and rewarding. My name is Sifit Kaag. I represent the United Nations Secretary General in Lebanon. I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I work for the UN so my color is blue. Cyberspace issues of cyber stability and security are in a way a new frontier to all of us and it's part of uh, the future security of the world. My advice to women is get the knowledge, experience, technical know-how, lean in. If your passion is in this field, go for it. I'm Tiffany Okewale. I'm Nigerian, and I'm a senior agile project manager for an IT company in Melbourne. Although IT is currently a male-dominated field, women's perspectives, the solutions we develop, are increasingly sought after. The advice that I like to give women who are considering getting into the IT sector is go for it. I've been in this industry for about nine years and I love it and I'm not going anywhere. I am Maria Lehto, Ambassador and Senior Expert at the Ministry for Foreign Affairs at Finland. The part of my work that relates to cybersecurity and international law is fascinating. My advice to cyber women and to all professional women entering an area that is male-dominated. It's this. 
help each other, lend a hand to each other, and you will be rewarded. Well, um, my role is one of both a policy planner, a manager, and a negotiator. I help to plan how the U.S. will accomplish its uh, strategic objectives in cyberspace uh, using diplomatic means. For 19 years, I have worked on cyber issues. What I love most about this job is that in contrast to many other um, security issues, uh, information technology provided a brand new slate upon which to shape and guide the development of foreign policy. Well, five or ten years is a very long timeline when it comes to cyberspace issues, but um, since I have been uh, consumed by issues of war and peace uh, in this area for quite a long time, I still see that issues of war and peace will become even more salient as time goes on. Uh, we have to get a better handle on, on how we deal with the vast variety of bad actors in cyberspace. My name is Ellie van der Heuvel. I've been in cybersecurity for nine years now. First as head of the Dutch National Cybersecurity Center and the last two years as secretary to the Dutch Cybersecurity Council. The best part of my job is the fact that I am contributing to a more secure future of the next generation. Uh, a lot of cybersecurity experts will be needed, are needed right now and will be needed in the future. Uh, to women more in general, I would say just trust your skills, trust your talents and don't be modest. Hi, my name's Trudy. I'm currently a cybersecurity consultant and work at the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. The best part of my job is problem solving, investigating and understanding security events so they can be prevented in the future. The best advice that I could give other women looking for a job in cybersecurity is if you're interested in problem solving and have great attention to detail, you're really suited to a job in cybersecurity. My name is Elina Noor and I'm the Director of Foreign Policy and Security Studies at the Institute of Strategic and International Studies, Malaysia. One of the best yet hardest parts of my job is being constantly challenged to offer pragmatic policy responses to a host of security issues confronting the Asia-Pacific as one of the world's fastest rising regions. Some of these issues, like territorial disputes, are not new, but continue to this day to confound us in very different ways. Other issues, like cyber, are indeed new and will continue to only grow in importance and profundity as we move forward into the future. Sometimes these sets of old and new issues interact coincide and overlap with each other, forcing us to think of their potential impact and implications on regional peace, stability and security in innovative ways. There is no doubt that this field is dominated by men. But if I could offer some words of encouragement to the girls and women out there, don't be intimidated. We are defined by our gender, but we are not defined solely by our gender. So be bold, be brave, support and count on each other, both men and women. Push boundaries, do it often with a smile and always with humility. Good luck. So as you can see, there are some incredible cyber women all around the globe carving a pathway in cyber affairs. Be inspired, get on board, join them.